I got into a, a little fender bender uh, recently and and I had to uh, get a rental while my car's being fixed and uh, I had two rentals over the week and the first rental smelled like pee so um, I sent it back and traded for the 2017 Toyota Camry SE which I assume stands for special edition um, the way that the car is decked out, like it's got spoiler, uh, looks kind of aggressive. It's, you know, it looks very sporty. And let me just say right now that it's not a driver's car. It just isn't. It's almost a slap in the face to a driver, uh, like a driver driver. One of the first things you'll notice when you sit inside of it is that it has this and it has these. And so what you automatically conclude is that it's a sport package. I mean, technically it is a sports package if you get these, uh, especially. And I thought, cool, you know, like, uh, uh, let's take it for a spin and see how well these shifters work. Cause that's what they are, they're paddle shifters. Um, meaning they shift the car manually. So I get in the car and I start it and the first thing I do is punch it into S mode, which obviously stands for sport. But I'm thinking it's a manual mode because every car that I've been in that has this available option, you know, with the little plus and minus and then plus and minus paddle shifters, it's a manual mode. Meaning once you engage it, the car will not shift unless you shift it meaning you're in full control of the car. You drive the car. That's what it's for, right? Um, but S-Mode, disappointingly, S-Mode doesn't seem to do that. And it was so confusing, actually, trying to play with it, driving it around. I actually had to Google what the hell Toyota's S-Mode does. And to my surprise, um, it's actually just a gear limiter and, uh, and you know this, like, you know, something's wrong when you first punch it into S mode and it starts you off on fourth gear. You could be stopped at a red light and it'll pop you into fourth gear. That's weird. But according to Google, that's not fourth gear that you're in. You actually start off first or second gear. But in S4 mode, it will only shift up to the fourth gear, uh, which is a little odd, meaning it's still automatic, but the car won't shift above fourth gear. It stops. That's where it stops. So if you punch it down uh, one, it'll go to S3, and then it won't shift automatically above third gear and so on and so forth. So if you go S6, you're using all six gears, but it's fully automatic. So they're all fully automatic, except you, you're you just setting the maximum, which is actually incredibly annoying if you're even just trying to go for the feel of manual. You'll start at one and then you'll keep shifting upward but depending on how hard you're pressing the throttle, you might accidentally shift backwards. Like you could shift to two, go re high rev, shift three, go high rev. And then if you accidentally punch it too hard, it'll downshift automatically to two again, which is strange. It's unexpected behavior. It's not wanted behavior. Um, I don't know who wants this behavior. I don't know what driver driver wants this behavior. Uh, so it's just not a great system. It, I don't know who it's for. It's just unfocused in its audience targeting. I don't know who Toyota made this for. Is it, you know, is it just for people that don't know anything, don't aren't interested in anything sport, but would like something fun to play with? I mean, it's not fun, but, you know, like maybe they just want to pretend. 
But who does that? Who, who buys what normal non-driver driver buys a commuter car and would ever shift it into S mode? Why, why would you do that? If you just press the throttle further, it automatically goes into a lower gear for you. And then your car goes faster. Like, that's that. Who, who does that? Why would they bother to shift it into S mode if all they have to do is just push the throttle harder? Who would use that mode? And then if you were talking about the driver driver, what driver driver would go into that mode and try it and not hate it? Like, who would use this? It's completely useless. They, they probably spent a lot of money adding this to the car, and it's more expensive than the base model, but nobody's getting anything out of Nobody would ever use... If you, if you like Tesla, like if you attached some kind of uh, like a tracker to see how many customers would use this feature, it'd be zero. It'd be none. Nobody would use this. Like, it's fine to pretend, okay? Like, you can pretend to actually what am i saying it's not fine to pretend it's not cool to pretend let's just say what it is it's not cool to, there's a lot of things wrong with pretending period you can't you you shouldn't pretend you just whatever it is you should just say what it is like don't pretend that's not good pretending is not good so this car pretends to be a sports car because it's got this and it's got those and it's got these and it's uh not cool it's kind of a slap in the face to somebody who was really interested in maybe this is a real sport mode like especially coming from the previous rental car that i had which was a mazda 3 and I returned it only because it smelled like pee. It smelled like uh, somebody had pissed in it. And they tried to use soap to get it out, but it's still there. And so I had to drive uh, with it uh, for a week with the windows down. That's, it's really bad. It's pretty bad. But that car also had a sport mode. And when you punch it into sport mode it's got the little plus and minus it's got the uh it didn't have paddle shifters but it had the plus and minus in the on the stick and it works exactly as you would think if you just leave it alone you stay in first gear and then when you go up it goes to second gear and then you go up again and it goes to third gear and if you press harder it doesn't drop to second gear by itself. It You have to downshift yourself. And so that's how I have to say every car that has a manual or sport mode on an automatic, that's how every car I've been in has worked. Like everything from Fiat to like the, five, the little 500 to uh, like uh, the newest BMW 3 Series uh, Mercedes, c-class like everything everything has done this this way it's a manual mode sport mode should be manual mode because people that want to drive sporty sportily uh like to drive manual they like to be that connected to the car where they're controlling its every whim that's what it's for if you just want to pretend I mean, just make it easier on yourself and just stay in your automatic mode. Uh, push the throttle harder and then it'll go faster. I mean, that's how that works. It's automatic. You don't have to, you know, go through the difficulty of, you know, deciding which gear to be in. The computer will just do it for you. Now with my Camry V6, I just punch. Yeah, punch it, Margaret. I told you. I love it, my Toyota. Who could ask for anything more? 